YouTube hasn't banned AI text-to-speech or video generation using AI. However, there have been recent developments in that regard. I'm going to use this video, which you are watching right now, to demonstrate how you can use AI text-to-speech software to create YouTube videos. As of 2024, any creator can still make YouTube videos with AI voiceovers, and they would be monetized without any issues. I have proof of this because I have never used any real human voiceover in any of the videos on this channel. It's all AI voiceover, and there has not been a single issue with monetization. So let's dive in. Of course, using an AI voiceover doesn't change the fact that you need to complete some very important steps in order to create the final YouTube video. From video idea to topic, script writing, shooting, editing, thumbnail design, and finally uploading and post-upload optimization. Watch out for specific suggestions which I'll be making in this video. I'm gonna start with an idea right here. The video idea is how to convert video scripts to audio voiceovers for editing YouTube videos with AI. With this idea in place, the YouTube video is going to be all about how a beginner can use AI text-to-speech software to create audio voiceovers for their videos in 2024. The content of the video would essentially be a tutorial on how anyone can produce an audio voiceover from already written video scripts. After doing some topic research, I came up with this topic for the video. Next is to write the video script for the topic. After doing a little bit of brainstorming, I came up with a format for the video content. The next step was to write out each of the sections, and this took some time to complete. As you can see, some parts of this script contain grammatical errors. If you look closely, you can also observe that some parts of the script need to be fixed, especially those sections that contain grammatical errors. This is to ensure that the final script is error-free. For AI text-to-speech conversion, something as small as a misplaced comma or full stop, or a misspelled word, even with just one alphabet, can change the way your final audio comes out. The video script has to be perfect with grammatical punctuation and spellings. Any errors made in the script would be clearly noticed when the final voiceover is produced. If you have some time, you can perfect the script yourself. Otherwise, you can use GPT to improve the writing. You're free to use any AI GPT software like ChatGPT or Google Gemini to rewrite this script. But before that, you should make sure that you have already done the best job possible and all that is left to do is to improve upon the work you've already done. Here in Gemini, all I have to do is ask it to help me rewrite the video script by fixing punctuations and making grammatical corrections. I can also do the exact same thing in ChatGPT. There you have it. Now that my video script is ready, it's time to convert it into an audio voiceover. Some of the best AI voiceover text-to-speech software out there include Murph AI, Eleven Labs, Revoicer, Well Said Labs, and of course, Descript AI, which I'm currently using. The links to these AI text-to-speech tools and software would be in the video description below. So for this demonstration, I'm going to be using Descript AI TTS. First, head over to the Descript AI website to install the voiceover software. Click on where it says get started for free. I already have this software installed on my computer. All I have to do is launch the software, come over to the project dashboard, and select a new project. Now I want to choose an audio project. I'm not going to be generating visuals for the passage right in Descript's text to video conversion interface. After selecting the project type, this interface would be launched and I'll copy and paste my text. Now it's time to select an AI voiceover profile from the list of AI voice profiles and just give the AI a few seconds to process it. And just like that, I have my AI voice ready. The same steps are also taken in other TTS softwares like Murph and Eleven Labs. Next is exporting the audio as a WAV or MP3 file. It's going to be downloaded to my computer and I can then import it into my video editor to use it to make the video. Currently, you can see I'm using CapCut to edit this video. So, that is how to make YouTube videos with AI text-to-speech software. The big question of monetization is positive. You're gonna get monetized as long as you meet all the monetization requirements and don't violate any copyright. Thanks for watching.